Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a review of my Louis Vuitton Alma BB and Damier Bean print. So I've had this for almost two years so I'll be able to do a good review for you guys and hopefully you guys like it. I'm going to show you what fits inside and some wear and tear as well. So if you guys want to know more about it then please keep watching. This lovely bag here um, is probably one of the classic bags that Louis Vuitton has and it's available all year round. Um, they have their seasonal stuff as well but this is probably one of the classics um, and this is obviously in the Damier Bin print. Um, so this is what the front looks like. Okay, and this is what the back looks like. So pretty much the difference between the front and the back is this bit here which um, holds the keys so you, if you pull it down a little bit you will see sets of keys um, and that belongs to this key right here which gives you um, allows you to lock these two together just for security purposes and you have the key there okay and so let's have a look inside so I kept the strap inside yeah, and the straps they go here so you click on here I'll show you so you clicks on there um, and clicks on here as well okay and it's pretty easy because you know that you can see where they really go um, and you've got the signature Damier Bean red lining there. You've also got um, some leather over here at the bottom and you've got the feet right here. There's four of them which is in gold hardware and all the hardware is pretty much in gold. Okay. Okay, so the pros of this bag, first of all, is that it's really beautiful. It's quite a unique shape as well, and it fits a fair bit um, as well. So it fits everything that I need in this bag. And also, it's really easy to maintain. The, um, the Damio Bing print is such a forgiving type of material that if you get um, anything on it it's so easy to wipe clean um, and it's such I've had this for two years this is my first Louis Vuitton bag and it still looks like I just bought it you know um, and so I really like it this is one of my favorite Louis Vuitton bags um, what I find is that in terms of wear and tear, there's not really much that I could see. There's, I've got minor scuffs there, um, but on the edges, they've been pretty good. Okay, um, and they're quite easy to wipe off as well. Um, I was actually quite worried that the bottom will have a lot of scuffs because of the leather, but nothing major. You know, and I've had this for two years and I don't baby this at all when I use it. Um, so no major scratches that I can see apart from this one. That's the only thing that I could see, which is a major scuff on the leather at the bottom. The gold hardware there, um, it, it's very inevitable to get um, wear and tear there because that's where your bag sits and it protects your bag and protects the leather as well the gold hardware is still really shiny it still looks really pretty um, there's no tarnishes or anything okay so the con of this bag I would say is that it was really hard for me to track down it took me a long time to call up um, and this bag had to be shipped all the way from Cairns in Queensland. They had to ship it down to Melbourne for me to get it. And it took a while for me and then I had to inspect it. I wasn't happy so I had to return it and had to wait for a new one to come up. Um, so because it's really popular. Um, another thing as well is that sometimes, you know, 
I just leave the bag open like that because sometimes people chuck more things in my bag because I've got a bag and it's only really fitting for the essential stuff that I have um, so when I wear it I always just leave it open like that because it's easier to have it open like that because how you open it especially when you wear it crossbody it takes you a while so I just leave it open like that so for security purposes I'm not really doing a very good job um, but otherwise um, this bag has been really really good i've been enjoying wearing this for the past almost two years um so yeah i highly recommend it to you guys and now i'm going to show you what fits inside okay so i'm going to show you what fits inside now so i've got the stuff that i need in there this was my bag for the week so I start off with my keys and my keys are really chunky I've got um, my mini pochette in a Damu bean print um, if you want to know more about what fits inside this I did a review on my mini pochette and what I usually put in here so um, go check that out I've got my wallet here which is this is from TDE um, this is like a card holder slash coin purse or whatever but I just got some cash and then my cards I've got my phone and I've got a hand sanitizer so that's what I usually bring with me okay when I go out and so I'll just show you um, what it looks like when I put everything in so let's start with my phone and my wallet and my mini pochette I've got my hand sanitizer here and sometimes the keys can go because it's, my keys are really super chunky sometimes it just sits at the top and it closes really well okay sometimes I do a little bit of a shake because my keys can be really annoying and it sticks out here so I do a bit of a shake um, and it looks well nothing was protruding or sticking out you can probably put more stuff so I've got my Oraton this is my coin purse so I put all the coins here you can probably fit at the back you can probably ditch the keys if you only need you know like three sets of keys probably don't need all this much really but say we get rid of the keys so I just put a coin purse there so I've got coin purse, mini pochette, and my wallet. You can probably put, um, probably, you can probably put like a concealer um, or a lipstick or somewhere just down below. You still have a fair bit. I usually bring um, my boyfriend's Ventolin that sits on my mini pochette but sometimes if it gets really chunky I take it out and then I leave it here and there's a bit more space so because I've got a little bit of space I can put my keys there and it closes really well put the shade and it closes well so thank you guys for watching this video if you've got any more questions please comment um, on the comment box below um, if I haven't covered anything and you want to know more about it. Um, but other than that, I hope you have a good day and see you in my next video. Bye!